Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel and welcome today to the Nürburgring in Germany where we're going to jump on board the Rentec AMG GTR and go and have some fun out on the track. Now you might remember recently I brought the car here to Rentec Europe to install the new turbos, taking this car up to 760 horsepower. I went straight from there out onto the circuit, but on that day it was rather wet. Today, fortunately, it is completely dry and not only that, we have the Nordschleife plus the Grand Prix track to go out and enjoy. So tons of you have been asking me for an update. The car's now done 27 and a half thousand kilometers. Today though, should be the perfect opportunity to enjoy it. And if you happen to have a virtual reality headset like the Google Cardboard, you can also watch in VR 180 and literally come along for the experience. But don't worry, if you don't have one, you can also watch the normal way too. But let's get started, jump in the car, take it out, and have some fun on the Nürburgring. Even though it is quite sunny right now, I won't lie, it's also very, very cold. So careful is going to be a little bit the name of the game. However, the GTR, I love the car, as you know, I've been using it for just about everything. We're still wearing the Sport Cup 2 sticky tires, although they are reasonably low on tread, so they will be replaced over winter with the winter tires before a new set for next year. Well, let's jump in, take a listen to the startup because, well, to be completely honest, the titanium exhaust with the Rentec downpipes as well and all of the other modifications it just sounds incredible we'll take a step in here kicking things off from apex here at the nurburgring but let's get it into life oh yes how can you not love that oh we got the valve closed there so we'll get ready then and head on out to go drive so if you've got your headsets do don them now and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy the experience from right here in the passenger seat here we are then the interior of the amg gtr if you're not familiar with it have a look around we've got the dynamica with the yellow stitching i particularly like as i have here the yellow seat belts really nice touch we're currently set for individual mode which means it sounds pretty good so let's put the screen right now have a look in the middle here into the dynamic select mode where we can go through a number of different displays including the vehicle data where in here you can see my brake pedal pressure you can also see the throttle pedal and the g4 sensors as, as well and then we also have the engine data where you can see horsepower torque and the current temperatures so let's head straight on out it's right at the end of the day all the grumbles in here are oh so good so like i said we're currently driving in an individual mode which is how i have this car set up to drive it on the road on the autobahn so softer suspension whereas to go on the nurburgring we want it a little bit firmer so we'll head on out to the roads i'll change the modes in a second in fact let's go straight to comfort mode just for the moment you know the peaceful civilized mode all done through this selector in the center console we can go up to sport mode drop some gears gets a bit noisier sport plus opens the exhaust valves or go all the way to race mode which drops some gears I think we're in automatic at the moment. We've got a button on the other side to pop it into manual. And you can see the uh, mode selector changing on the center screen, which is quite nice too. So hopefully we will just catch in time for one of the last runs of the day. Gosh, the automatic gearbox does downshift in a very, very nice way in this car. Here in the town of Nürburgring, just heading through, away from Apex, the very short drive over towards the circuit. We arrive at the Tourist and Farten entrance then of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Have a look around you. This is the famous entrance where you drive up towards the barriers, scan your pass, and away you go onto the track. So up we go. Fortunately, we have these on the right-hand side as well as on the left. Give that a beep. Barriers open. And out we head for our lap of the circuit. So we've got quite a few cars out on track today. But we head straight on, and this is where things are always pretty exciting. So my tyres are lowered for the track. Already feel the traction though, just slipping away ever so slightly. We'll take it easy past the first car. Normal road rules apply effectively. This is a toll road, remember. Come through the first compression, just shy of 200 kilometers an hour. Listen to those bangs though. Automatic gearbox, like I said, currently set up. I can press the button to go into manual on the left-hand side here. 
and we come through the first section of the circuit. The noises are just phenomenal. I love this thing so much, but we do need to let the tire pressures warm up. As I said, they are pretty cold right now, but out onto the main straight. This is where it's different to driving the normal Nürburgring Nordschleife. As we have a snap, that's why I keep the traction control on. But here's the power. We're up to almost 250. In fact, we've done 250, but I'm gonna go onto the brakes as we come towards the sunshine and in down towards T1 of the GP circuit here. Dropping the gears, it's a very tight corner. Turn in just wide of the apex. But this is quite a long circuit when you do the full course that we have today. Cling on tight though, catching with the group of cars in front. We've got the low sun too. This car just feels so at home here. Bit of understeer there, bit of oversteer, right, a lot of oversteer we've got going on. Goodness. And again, let's get some more heat into those tires out on the GP. Right, we've got a group of cars in front of us. Like I said, normal road rules apply. Now, slight problem with the AMG GTR is that the seatbelt has gone very tight on me because it detected the braking of the car that was in front. This is a road safety system, but it definitely makes for an interesting experience when you're driving the car on the racetrack. We're going to unwind the steering, put down the power. So much power! The car is so raw and crazy fast everywhere. Hard on the anchors in towards this turn here. Drop those gears. Late, tight apex here. All the way around. Use the exit curbs and unwind. And away we go again. Get towards the exit. We're going uphill off camber. We're driving on the GP circuit through the Schumacher S's. We've got drivers of all abilities here, so you have to be a bit careful with what's going on. Instructor schools, private individuals, tourists after all. Tourist and Farten stands for tourist drives on the Nürburgring, but it's not often that they have the full circuit open as we do today. offline with the other car so take it easy the beeps of the car detecting the car in front braking oh it's an apex car as it happens ride the curbs and this is where we're going to pop back through towards the gp circuit so keep it tight through here an unusual corner to drive if you're familiar with driving the nordschleife and now we're out onto the regular part of the circuit, tight first corner of the, the twisty open sections, the famous sections of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. The undulations, the track that you really need to learn to know what it's doing, where it goes, to not get it wrong. And this is where it could be greasy. It is still cold today. So I'm gonna take it steadily and carefully as I blast my way around. We don't wanna land ourselves in any trouble today at all. But the car just sounds monumentally epic. Through the tight twist, it's such a crazy circuit when you think about it. All of these corners. And they all look so similar. Three kilometer sign, it's a 21 and a half kilometer track in total for the Nordschleife. Many deceptive sections, many sections you can't tell from one part to another. And here we can go foot flat. We'll go light over the top, hold on tight. And up the other side towards the jump coasting over, you can carry good speed through this corner, a deceptive corner that you think you need to slow down a lot more for. One single radius through it. It's an amazing place to drive this. I mean, I'm lucky enough to have driven it a few times, but even still, every time, there's a lot to take in, a lot going on. And a car as fast as this, that's 230 there as we go really light. This is a corner, by the way, that in Forza, I always seem to get wrong. But hey, it's a good training ground to get the feel for what you need to do when you're here for real on the actual circuit. So then we come to one of my favorite sections, Foxhole. You'll be able to look up and down the hill as we come down towards it into the red line there. So you can hold power and drive through this section ridiculously fast, I was gonna say. Um, we will take it slightly easier. What you do not want to do down at the bottom is lift. I'm gonna give a quick dab before, just to stabilize the car a touch before we go up the other side. Woohoo! One of the corners you can ride the curbs coming up just here. 
then this section is a deceptive one. As we come round this corner, you think looking at the outside of the uh, fence, it's going to be a gentle corner, but then it goes all the way around. We've got somebody very fast coming up behind me. This is one of the things with the Nürburgring. It's about knowing the track, not necessarily having one of the fastest cars. Of course, it's very fun to drive it in a car like this, but if you know where you're going, that's how you're going to be going the quickest around it. It's such a mega place. And this is such a mega car to be driving it in. This is one of my favorite corners, actually. As so you then take off out the outside before you get to one that is disturbingly tighter than you realize. This one actually threw me off in a video I did not too long ago. As it tightens on the exit and it's downhill. But away we go. I'm being tailed right behind at the moment, but keeping things together, keep it tidy. We've got the miss here, miss. So you miss the first apex, then you come in tighter for the second apex, and then you miss the third one. <laughs> Head on down. Whew, holding on tight right now. And I'm going to let the car behind come through. Standard Nürburgring etiquette, because it is a road after all, pop on your right-hand indicator. Let the faster car come through. And he will blast on by and we will continue on our way. This is the thing. He's in a Golf and he's just overtaken me around the Nürburgring because this track is about knowing it. As I said, go through Adenau. This is the uphill section. So presumably we're in the faster car. We will be able to catch up and touch up here. Woohoo! Slippy today. <laughs> this is the funny thing because I know he's going to have to go back behind me. I'll stay behind for the time being. Seat belt pulled tight on me again, but he's a man who knows the track, so I can learn a little bit from this too. Late apex through here. Continuing up the hill. He's gonna let me back through, let's take it then. He can come back past us again later on. If we can get through, if we can find an opportunity. No, I'm not, I'm not going to push it. I don't want to uh, get caught up in what could be a race today. Let's just have some fun though, and learn from him as we're chasing around the circuit through the tighter sections. <laughs> it is so fun driving this place. Like I said, it's such an incredible place to drive but really you need to know what you're doing. That's why the driving school is so good. That's why coming to somewhere like Apex and doing it with Misha or somebody who can really show you the track and what you need to do is a massive benefit. As we come then towards the carousel, this is one of my favorite places on the track. We're gonna drop on down into it right now. Seat belt banging and pulling me back in again. His too, his hazard lights on from his hard braking. Tighten around, just look on up as we go through there. deceptive corners that comes in tighter than you think. It's the undulations though that really get you, the crazy ups and downs. Lefts and rights, where is the track going? The small bumps that unsettle the car that you have to counter for. close now to one of the other famous sections of the circuit, Runchen, where a lot of people are watching with a lot of cameras ready to make videos as and when you mess it up. You can see quite how many people look up there. Catching up with some more traffic. Let us through, yep. The noises of the car as it gets up to temperature and everything's hot. Here's a fun one, you have to brake, then we get the dip and then back on the brakes again. Good luck 
bike here, we come past another car. Oh, the undulations, I'm feeling this. It's like a roller coaster and a half. I don't know how it's for you guys in the passenger seat joining me for this ride along. This is a fun one too. Funny line you take through here towards the outside wall and then you late apex it in, back up the hill. Wow. We've got little carousel. One of the last corners. the gantry, final corner of the Nürburgring Nordschleife, and away you go. Now this is where you just let it easily cruise over the line, braking down towards the end. Of course, hot brakes, hot engine temperatures. You want to let the car cool down as much as possible, but what an epic experience was that. Driving this circuit is so much fun, in this car in particular. Wow, it's so quick. The power is insane. It's extraordinary how it, I mean, it's 760 horsepower. The rear is lighting up all the time. I'm sure you can get that sense from what's going on. But for me, it's one of my absolute favorites. Just driving with this thing all the time is so good. Anyway, I can see that the red flags are now up. The track is closed for the day. We'll keep off the brakes and cruise back towards Apex to wrap things up. There we go then, back to Apex, the end of the day. The sun is setting, Nürburgring Castle up on the hill, but what an awesome outing. This thing is so incredible, so powerful, and so noisy as well in the way that it goes about it. And it's not often you get to drive that full circuit, the GP side of things, and then the full Nordschleife as well. But loads of you had asked me for an update with the AMG GTR, so I hope you've enjoyed this ride along, jumping into the passenger seat in virtual reality VR 180 to experience driving around the Nordschleife Schleifer and pushing on, I would say fairly hard in this car that's now coming up, or by the time I actually get it back to the UK, coming up to around 30,000 kilometers in just a touch over a year. I really do use it as my daily driver on the autobahns. As you've seen, I'm around the track and I actually had it the other day. I didn't have a camera rolling at 335 kilometers per hour. That's 208 miles an hour. It's amazing what this thing is capable of and how smooth it is to actually drive as an everyday driver to use for everything. Yes, it's very wide, which makes it sometimes hard to position, but it's not let me down bar the incident that happened in the early days with the intercooler at the front. And you might remember Rentec fitted a replacement mesh um, just behind the openings down here to prevent that from happening again so that the intercooler doesn't get too chipped away behind it which would cause the gearbox to overheat etc and I do apologize that it's absolutely filthy on top of the wrap at the moment but the color is brilliant as you can see light is going down We've got blue hour, but it's always cool looking up at Nürburgring Castle up there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that run. I certainly did, but that's it for this time. I'll be sure to see you again very, very soon. Cheers.